Uh, here's a complete setup for Wadroid on Arshinax and if you are new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like on the video and obviously check out my Patreon to help out with these videos and uh, check out the shop for if you like anything and get yourself something. And in this one, I don't have Yay, but I am using Peru for this. The installation process is similar, so you can get Yay or Peru either way, it's fine. But uh, we're doing Peru and then Wadroid and Wadroid image. Now the reason I'm doing Wadroid image like from the all repository is that it gets better download speed. I don't know why that the case, but um, and also my W key doesn't seem to want to work. But anyway, uh, Wadroid dash image. So you can also get the GS version. I didn't try what Helium is, but um, I like to get the base one as we will be installing GFs later down the road. So don't worry about it. But this is kind of like the basic packages that you would need to get uh, started with Wadroid. So now we just say yes, we accept the changes and hit enter. And if you get uh, errors like this, you just have to do dash SY. And I would recommend you always use SY as it refreshes the repository, then tries to install them. So yeah, there you go. So it is installing it. So now it should install everything. So yeah, there you go. It is installing now. Let's give it a moment. It will take a bit to get done because yeah, it is a big file. So. Uh, I'll see you after this is done. Now there you go, it is done installing. So now we have to kind of configure Wadroid. So now we just type in Wadroid dash in it and you need sudo for this. Uh, yeah, it does record for the initial initializ initialization, you need sudo Wadroid in it. And yeah, there you go. Now it should uh, initialize and then we, you just have to do Wadroid session start. Now I'm doing session start instead of show like GUI and stuff is just just to check that it, yeah it is working it will start so if I do that uh, you can see it just blinks and it tells us that yeah Android binder has appeared that means that our system is working and you can say that Android with user zero is ready that means our Android is ready and now I'll just open up a new terminal. Now uh, in here, I'll do show full UI. Now if you just do show full UI, it will still open it, like open the UI and start the session. But for now, I'm just doing it separately. And as you can see, the it's a full on Android system. But at this point, you can see there is no Play Store. And uh, if you even if you have Play Store, uh, it will not work. And uh, just remember when you're shutting it down, like just press here and then do power off. Uh, as if you try to close it or I'll say terminate this, it doesn't want to die. So yeah, uh, it doesn't want to like do something like that. Anyway, uh, we can do sudo systemctl to kind of enable the container. So it does run at system boot. Uh, enable, if I do waydroid, there you go. It is waydroid container and that's what we need. So what this will do is just create a sim link. So whenever our system boots up, uh, it will enable like turn on waydroid. So we don't have to type in waydroid on session start every time we want to use it. Now, uh, in any browser. So, uh, you just search for waydroid script. So what this is, is it's a Python script that will kind of help us install gapps, libhoudini, and like basically uh, everything you will need uh, to kind of get started or get your widget up and running. So if I just copy this command and just paste it in here. So why are, do we need this? Well, there is a library called libhoudini, which will allow you to have basically bypass the issue that said this app is not supported in your system. So as you can see, now we have this. That is asking for Android version. If you have installed it from Yay, then this will be Android 13. And we'll select install and then we'll go with GApp. Just press space to select uh, libndk and libhoudini. Now you can get magic, smart dog, and all the other shenanigans. You can even get a micro G if you don't want like GApps basically. You can use micro G. But anyway, after that, we just press enter and it will start installing everything that we just selected. So I'll see you after this is done. This doesn't take that long. So yeah. So there you go, it is installed, it is done. And now we can move on to the next step. Now the GApp is installed, so let's just check that if everything is installed actually. So we just should show full UI and if I just do this, uh, it should boot up and this time with the GApps installed. So there you go. And if we just scroll up, as you can see, the Play Store is right there. And if we just get in here and just sign in, or if you like, even if you try to sign in, it won't work. Uh, because we have to kind of certify this device. So yeah. Uh, so now we can do Wadroid. Yeah, we do dash dash help. You can see what everything, like what is everything. So we can actually install apps with this command. But 
So I just, so I just downloaded an APK. So in case you have your own APK, so you have your separate, I say APKs. Uh, I have it in my downloads directory. So yeah, let me just get that. If I do ls. There you go. Now, as you can see, I have Asphalt Nitro. It's not a very demanding thing, but um, here's how to install it. You can do app install and then the name of the app basically, and then hit enter. Now, this will usually install it, but as you can see, it says Wayward well, Session is stopped. So you have to actually have the Wayward Session turned on, then kind of work on that. But I would say, like, with this just session start, it doesn't really work that well. <laughs> Uh, cause yeah, it feels like it just installed it, but it actually hasn't. Like it takes a bit of time. Uh, but since we can't actually see what's going on, uh, it's kind of weird. So yeah, well, I'll just do show full UI. There you go. We can do show full UI. It'll just turn it on. And since I kind of turn it off mid uh, installation, it won't be installed. So we have to actually just install it again. So yeah. So yeah, if you, in case you're wondering, you can do alt tab to switch between tabs. So yeah, now if you just wait for it, as you can see, it does say that um, it's like not safe and because it's a third party application, so it may not be safe. Anyway, and if you just try to go into Google Play at this point, you will get this error right here, which is like this device is not Play Product certified. You have to actually certify this device. And to do this, uh, let me just uh, alt tab out of this. And uh, we actually need a browser. So yeah. Let me just get into a browser. Now in here, uh, I would say just go to the WayDroid documentation as it is really like nicely specified on how to do this. So there you go. Just go to the documentations page and in here, just go to docs.wayDroid. And in here, you'll find, um, uh, where is it? Uh, there you go. This is the thing right here. Just click on it and just copy this command. So just copy it from here, paste it in here. And then just give it a password. And as you can see, you'll have the ID. Just copy this. And then just click on this. Paste it there. And then just verify you're not a robot. And then hit register. Now, this may take like a few seconds from to a few days. Now, usually it's just done immediately. Like it doesn't take that long. Uh, but let me just try this. Now, I don't think it will work immediately. I think you have to restart your device to for it to work. So I'll just shut it down and then we'll restart it up. So now we just start up Wayroid. There we go. Oh yeah, cause it's, it was already running. So yeah, there we go. Now this should uh, allow you to log into your Gmail account and you can also get it from your basically app manager. It is available from there. You don't have to specifically do it from the terminal as well. So now if we do sign in, uh, it will allow you to sign in. So I'll get back to you after I have done signing in. So now after signing in, as you can see, there we, here we are. You'll get the full like experience. Now uh, you can literally do Andy Crush. Now the thing that I have found with this is uh, if it's something simple, like if it's a simple game, it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, it does work or if you, even if you just want to have like something that can use your mobile apps, maybe you don't want to use your phone, maybe you don't even have a phone, uh, you want to use your system just as an emulation of, of sorts, you can use it. Uh, but uh, I will also install the Asphalt um, Legends as I have found a bit of an issue in this. I don't know what other games this may occur in, but um, you guys can let me know what like other games have this issue. Like if it's just Asphalt or if it's other games as well. So yeah, if I just get into Candy Crush, it's like very simple, very easy game. And also if you press F11, then it will just give you a little window, which is basically like a desktop mode. So that's a quick tip for you. And as for the performance, like it, you will get really fast performance if you have a really good system as you're basically running a mobile game on a PC. So yeah, that it should be a better performance. So yeah, now uh, before I get addicted to this game and uh, start playing it for hours on end, uh, let me like skip this part. I don't want you guys to see me play Candy Crush for a few minutes. And if you have made it this far into the video and haven't subscribed or liked the video yet, make sure to do those and check out the shop, uh, subscribe and hold on. I'll show you the uh, Asphalt error in a bit. Uh, so there you go. Asphalt is installed. If I hit play, you'll see that it seems okay, right? It seems fine. Uh, at this point, it's not much of an issue. And I would say it doesn't feel like an issue. I think this does have controller support. Like, like if a game, and this is where the issue start. As you can see, the elements are a bit wonky and it doesn't necessarily look that great. So yeah. Uh, as you can see, the A is messed up in asphalt. So yeah. So you can see that the buttons are a bit messed up. 
and we're in so here are a few things so if you see the design on the car uh, so let me just close this uh, you can see the car design is a bit messed up and then um yeah you can see the buttons are messed up yeah the design is a bit messed up uh, even if i just go to the like game settings and graphic settings uh, you'll see that yeah it's like not that this is the settings i play on on my phone it's like a samsung s21 which is not a really recent phone and this is like i won't say this as a really demanding game but yeah but but like you can see like i'm lowering everything like i'm like putting everything in like the lowest setting i can and even that like it doesn't help so yeah and as for races like i did try to play it and uh yeah you need to use basically your phone for this and like if you go to the car section as you can see this button is messed up and like the car themselves are fine but the cards are messed up so I, like I said, I don't know if this is like only happens with Asphalt or any other game. Like if you find other games that happen, like that does do this, let me know in the comments below. Or like if any game that's like exceptionally well on this, or if you found any controller support, like there's a lot I do think like needs to be figured out. But uh, this is basically a configuration for like uh, get yourself a Wayjoid system that basically just works. And if you made it this far into the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, check out the shop. If you find something interesting, make sure to grab it. If you don't find something interesting, make sure to check out the Patreon, like help out the channel. It really does help out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.